Hi, friends. <laughs> um, I haven't social cammed in a while because I do not look well. Haven't been feeling well, and I have a sty. Gorgeous, huh? On my eye. Beautiful. Can't wear makeup. Like, it's, it's really annoying. And I'm sensitive to light, so whatever. But I wanted to share something with you because I'm doing this segment for the Today Show about how to buy American and buying American and how important it is. And I'm like learning some of these statistics. Heartbreaking. But first off, let me just tell you. I looked around my office real quick and I'm like, okay, what's made in America? This is what I found. My little Expo whiteboard. Cleaner, Natoyant or something. I don't know what it says, but it's made in USA. Through Rubbermaid in Oak Brook, Illinois. I was really excited it was made in USA. I don't know about my Clorox wipes, but... So here's the deal. Back in the 60s, 1 in 10 were made overseas of things that we spent money on. About 79 was the peak. Like, I mean, the refrigerators, everything was made in the USA. About 79 and on, more than 50% of everything we buy is made in a foreign country. And you're saying to yourself, well, whatever. I need my iPhone. I need my Mac. I get it. I got the same addiction. I get it. Which don't even get me started because on the back of my iPhone it says, Designed in California, but made in China. Or assembled in China. Insanity. But if we spent an average of about $4 more on American-made products, 200,000 more jobs would be out there. I'm just astounded. So I have a lot more to share with you. And thanks for all your awesome support. You rock. And I promise I'll be pretty. Oh, I did, Cabby, I did get a good shirt, though.